Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, and thank you for stopping by. All right, guys, this is a class one situation. We have some more extreme, I'm talking extreme, gun control laws that have just been introduced in the House. Now, this is really important to understand the distinction of what we're facing. And please, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. If you think we earned that subscription, if you want to be kept in the know, make sure that bell is on, because this is a fight, and we meet as many people as we can to get the word out here. Now, right now, we have House bills that are coming out that are extreme. We've got senators who are meeting bipartisan deals going back and forth, whispers between different chambers. This this is a lot going on. Make sure you are tuned in because this is the time to fight for our rights and get those phones ready because this week, this is going to be a week. So everything that we're about to talk about is only regarding the House bills that Jerry Nadler just introduced. This is really important because this is the part where you get into the smoke screens that it's not going to pass, it is going to pass. Everything is going to be listed out in this video to the best of my abilities. We are going to have it linked in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself. I'm going to say a quick word from our sponsor who make this video possible and then we're going to hit it and I want to hear from you guys in the comments and send this out because it's go time. Now I know a lot of you out there like to repair and upgrade your own guns. If you're looking for a way to take your hobby to the next level, Sonoran Desert Institute can help. The online programs at SDI cover armor courses, gunsmithing, ballistics, woodworking and finishes, finishes, shooting sports management, and more. Plus, tools and materials are shipped straight to your door. It's never been a better time to get an education that you can actually use on the job, so what are you waiting for? There's a link in the description box below to find out more, and thank you so much to SDI for making these videos this week possible. All right, so let's make this happen, guys. Check this out. i got to break this to you. House Democrats look to pass gun control legislation by early June. Now, this is breaking as about an hour ago of the filming of this video. Okay, So, let's get into this. Let me show you what they're doing, and I'm going to give you a big spoiler alert. This has all the hallmarks of politicization, smokescreen. Look over here and watch, and don't look at the other hand. Watch this. House Democrats will try to advance a raft of gun control bills on Thursday in the wake of two high-profile situations that rocked the nation earlier this month. Now, this is important because they're doing this on Thursday. Thursday coincides with the same time that Schumer said, if we don't have anything by Thursday or Friday of next week, we're holding accountability votes. It's all tied together. Don't think that anything is random in this scenario. House Judiciary Committee Chair Jerry Nadler, Democrat New York, same guy who wanted to pack the courts, abolish all the Second Amendment, do all the things, okay? Has called committee law break, uh, lawmakers, <laughs> Freudian slip, back from a break to mark up gun legislation that combines eight separate bills. Nadler intends to bring a suite of new gun safety laws to the House floor as soon as possible, a spokesman said in light of the situations in Texas and New York. This is the part where it gets really, really gross. The Democratic-led package will likely fail in the face of Republican opposition in the Senate. However, Democrats have acknowledged a hope, however slim, that bipartisan talks among senators can lead to lawmakers passing a more limited bill with support from both parties. So now, as you are, wherever you are in the United States, why would you pass eight bills from the House that you know are not going to be able to be passed, but there's a slim hope that the senators will be able to do something pared down? Smokescreen. These bills that he's going to try to push forward and get to the House and get to the Senate, it is politicization. It's something for these constituents to hear about when they go back to campaign for their elections because what we're about to cover isn't going to pass the Senate. They're only doing this for their own political gain on the back of what situations? Exactly. Gross. Let's keep going. Here's what they're going to do. Nadler's spokesman confirmed the list of bills the House Judiciary Committee will consider under the broader Protecting Our Kids Act. They include Raise the Age Act, Prevent Gun Trafficking Act, the Untraceable Firearms Act, Ethan's Law, the Safe Gun Safe Kids Act, the Kimberly Vaughn Firearms Safety Storage Act, Closing the Bump Stock Loophole Act, the Keep Americans Safe Act. The combined legislation would introduce a range of regulations on the sale or use of firearms and associated equipment. That last little piece there, associated equipment. Let's dive into a couple of these. The Raise the Age Act would lift the purchasing age for semi-automatic rifles from 18 to 21, which is interesting because that was ruled unconstitutional from coast to coast in multiple districts at this court level. But they're going to do it anyway. Or are they just trying to distract you? 
While the Keep Americans Safe Act would outlaw the import, sale, manufacture, transfer, or possession of large capacity magazines, or LCAPs. Hmm. Well, that's not going to pass. Why are they doing it? They're doing it because they're trying to get elected for their own power because I, it's so gross. Ethan's Law would create new requirements for storing guns at home. Oh, look, a national storage law. It failed in New Mexico. It failed in lots of other states. Why don't we do it nationally, even though it's not going to pass, but at least we said we could. Especially those with children and provide tax credits for secure storage devices. Ironically enough, tax credits are now okay when it's partnered with gun control. Hmm. One more thing for you. And this... Hmm. While it's unclear when the omnibus will arrive on the House floor... Nadler's move to reconvene the committee early signals the House leadership wants to vote on the legislation soon after lawmakers return from the break next week, while Democrats still have the momentum behind them. Now, what events would give them momentum that they want to use for their own power and their own self-aggrandizement? Exactly. Vile. Now, I'm going get to get you to what, what they're probably covering a smokescreen for. We are talking about the senators in the Senate between McConnell, between Schumer. You've got all the guys. You've got Cornyn talking with, um, oh God, what's that guy's name? I, um, I can't remember that guy's name right now. Cinema, Blumenthal. You've got lots of guys. This is, this is something that is very interesting, and they're going to try to use it the best that they can to push whatever gun control they can achieve. Per this article, even Jerry Nadler's own spokesman said, more modest gun control that they could actually achieve. It's looking like it's going the direction of background checks, red flag laws, or yellow flag laws. I'm going to find out more about that the best that I can and bring it to you as soon as I can. But it looks like it's going that direction. Meanwhile, the House, extremely partisan, Jerry Nadler, Nancy Pelosi, they are going as far left as they can to create a smokescreen, look at all the attention, look at all the attention, the vote on Thursday, while the senators are doing whatever they want to do behind closed doors, keeping it as tight-lipped as possible. And that's why we should be concerned. Get your phones ready. We're going to need to be active on this one as soon as these things hit the floor. And that is what we have been called to right now for this right of our Second Amendment, which we are going to pass on. Let me know what you guys think in the comments field below. And I will see you tomorrow on the uh, tomorrow morning on the bullet points. I'm Braden. See you later.